Hi and hello everyone, I am Coral and I have a joint to smoke and some milk makeup to try. I'm going to do a first impressions video telling you guys all about this milk makeup and the joint is actually rolled with one of their blotting papers because they advertise that this unbleached hemp paper can be used for smoking or for getting the excess oil off your face. So we'll see about that. This is the first time I'm doing a first impressions makeup video on my channel. If you guys like this idea, like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And I have to give a huge thank you to the World Reefers because without you, I would have never heard of milk makeup. I saw this on Twitter and knew I had to order some of these rolling papers. These are the ones I mentioned. They are 100% unbleached hemp. And it says right on the back that they can also be used for rolling or blotting. I don't personally use blotting papers that often in my normal routine, but when I see a makeup company extending that invitation to smokers, putting a little tongue in cheek with their message, I definitely was curious. So I'm gonna give it a try as a blotting paper and then show you guys what else I ordered. And for blotting papers, if I have excess oil on my face, if I've been running around all day, maybe melting glass and the fire's been really hot, I'm gonna be getting a little bit of shine in places that I don't want it. So I'm gonna take their paper, which does have a gum on it, because it is a rolling paper, and I'm gonna just press this to my face and kind of blot away the excess oil that I see. I definitely get some like up above my eyebrow. Oh wow. And then definitely like along my cheek is where I'd see it. And I'm doing one side more than the other because I kind of want to show you guys like what that does. Again, if you use blotting papers and you have a completely different technique, hook a girl up and let me know because I don't use them in my normal routine, but they're called blotting papers and I think this is how I blot. I can definitely see a difference. There's a lot more oil and a lot more sweat but this side looks nice and, and soft, nice soft focus. Oh, okay. I saw online a lot of people were asking if you go from having an oily paper to then rolling it up as a joint. Please don't, that sounds really disgusting. I don't think that's how they are advertising it or recommending it, but to have one thing in your purse that can actually double as like a makeup product, but also something for your smoke routine, that's pretty sweet. a lot better. Maybe I should be incorporating blotting papers into my routine. I tend to pack on powder when I feel like I have too much shine and that is not good because it just sits on your pores, it's adding more product whereas this is actually removing the oil. So pretty impressive for a little paper. Uh, you can't really see the oil on it. Thankfully I'm not that sweaty today. The papers seem like they did their job as blotting papers but before I smoke up this joint I do want to check out the sleigh kit that I ordered from Milk Makeup. It has their highlighter stick, a sleigh lip color, and then also their mascara. I'm a big, big mascara fan, so that's the first thing I'm gonna try from this kit. I have never tried a mascara that was in a tube like this. This is definitely new to me. And on the back, it says, you balmy mascara? I don't know exactly what that means, but I did notice when I opened this, because I did open it already without using it, the wand is totally different than other ones I've seen. It has three balls, kind of, and it's supposed to actually apply the mascara all the way across your lashes with those. So I'm gonna get some product on the wand and give it a go. I do have a little bit of mascara on my eyelashes already, but definitely not the full amount that I would expect to go out for the day. I would keep layering it on. So let's see how this mascara does. Oh, maybe I should have stopped halfway through. I've definitely smudged it a bit, but I'm gonna apply it to both eyes so that I can get a full look and then wipe off the mistakes because whoops. Okay, so I've smudged it a bit for sure. I am not perfect with the mascara. 
I would have to give this like a medium rating overall. It's not really, really dense mascara. I love the Perversion by Urban Decay. I've been really liking Man Eater by Tarte as well. This isn't the lightest mascara. I've definitely tried a lot more disappointing, but I'm not noticing like a big pow, very, very dramatic, very heavy, dark mascara, which is what I like. I think this would be perfect for travel. Ah! for on the go, um, for something that you don't want, that big, big, dramatic, sweepy eyelashes, but I do like those big, heavy eyelashes, so this is something that maybe I'll keep in my travel bag. I'm not blown away by it, though. It was, I'd say worth it, though. It's like a medium mascara. Next up, I want to try the lip color, which is called Dip Out, I guess, Dip Out Lip Color. Here it is in the packaging. And it's a super dark color. I mostly got this kit because I wanted that highlighter, which was sold out otherwise. But I'm pretty curious about this dark lip color and how it's gonna look on me, and also just how it feels. Let's give it a go. a little bit difficult to get the color on my lips initially it definitely wasn't applying super evenly but once it warmed up against my skin it started actually going on a lot better as you guys saw I used this with no lip liner or anything like that it does have a really even color it's a really nice like saturated berry shade it's dark it's darker than I'd wear for most outfits, but I actually really like this shade and this kind of deep, deep berry tone. I think it makes my blue eyes kind of pop, kind of into it. Definitely not kiss proof though, I would have to say. Next, I want to try the highlighter, which is why I ordered this little kit. It was sold out on the website, but it's what Milk Makeup has been getting a little bit of press for. They have the highlighter stick, they have a holographic stick, and then they also have some new products coming out, which I have not had a chance to try. But the highlighter stick is advertised as a really easy product to use. I can just rub it on where I'd put highlighter, blend it with my fingertips, I guess I'll wipe the lipstick off and uh, it should be something that's just really, really light and easy to use, so let's give it a go. Now I'm gonna pat that on. So I don't want any harsh lines, just showing where it was rubbed. Wow, I really like this. It smells almost like some of the sunscreens I used as a kid, like not a sunscreen scent, but like a scented sunscreen. Um, but I think it's a really nice shine. Oh wow, I like it. I definitely want to try their holographic stick. This is just the basic highlighter, but it added a lot of shine right where I wanted it really, really easily. That took like what, like 15 seconds? That was awesome. Definitely glad I picked this up. But now it makes me want to try the holographic stick even more. Almost time to light this up, but with my order for Milk Makeup, they did include some extras, and I saw online that they tend to do this with orders over a certain amount, so the extras that I got include this Milk Makeup Eye Pigment. It's a pretty dark shade. I'm not exactly sure if it's one that I would use often. Whoa, shimmer. It's like a really, dark purple brown maroon rust I don't even know how to describe this shade but it's pretty it's definitely a dark dark eye color I'm not gonna be throwing it on my eyelids right now but it's awesome that they sent this silent disco sample for me to check out so I'll just leave that on there for now and the last sample they sent is the sunshine skin tint in a bunch of different shades I think I got to pick whether I wanted the light or the dark, and this is the light half of their samples. Um, let's see, I shouldn't really put a skin tint on now because I already put on other products, but I do really want to see what it looks like. So I'm grabbing the lightest shade. Almost always from foundations, I find myself grabbing the most fair or lightest shade, so I'm always curious to see how well that will actually work with my skin tone. That's the Sunshine Skin Tint in the lightest formula. Oh, it's really creamy. It feels a lot thicker than I expected for a skin tint. 
it feels a lot more just like a regular foundation in my opinion um, but it's really blending in really nicely and it's really just creamy and soft I still feel this like sunscreeny vibe with their products which makes me feel good because I want to protect my skin this is the sunshine skin tint. Can't really see it, which is a good sign because that means it did match my skin tone in some kind of way. But overall, it's a really soft, creamy feel. Definitely one that I think is going to be worth applying to my face and giving it a try the next time I do my makeup. But let's light up and see how these blotting papers work as a joint. I've seen online over the years that yes, you can use rolling papers as a blotting paper in a pinch, but you don't always want to smoke up a blotting paper. They may have other products on them, they may have some tea tree oil or some anti-blemish type thing. What's cool about milk makeup blotting slash rolling papers is that they're 100% unbleached hemp. No added products, nothing to worry about, so let's see how they taste. I don't notice any added flavor other than the really tasty pink grapefruit bud. Yeah, really smooth. I'm impressed. It's just a nice king size paper for a fatty joint. They sell the pack of papers for $10 you get a hundred papers, and this video is not sponsored at all. I went on their website, ordered these products, because I was really curious about them after seeing them online. Also, a huge plus is that Milk Makeup is cruelty-free, so I'm really glad to be introducing you guys to them if you haven't heard of them, but if you have, definitely let me know what your favorite products are from Milk Makeup, because this is all I have from them, and I'm really, really interested in trying some more. I hope you guys like this video. If you want to see more first impressions, more makeup and ganja glam style videos, give it a thumbs up and be sure to let me know in a comment down below. Stay high you guys.